Hello everybody, this is your teacher Daryl, and I'm going to cover pages 94 and 95, Health, and check it out, Student Book 2. And what, we're, what, we're co what we covered in class recently is the grammar and the conversation. And what we have is should or shouldn't. Okay? It's something you use when you give advice. You use the word should or shouldn't. Okay? So, if somebody's fat, you say, you should go on a diet, right? Or if they eat too much ice cream, you say, you should go on a diet. Or if they're too skinny, you say, you should eat more. And also, they have shouldn't, right? It's something if you don't, should not do something. Say, for instance, if somebody's eating too much ice cream. If they eat too much ice cream and they're fat and they're sick all the time, you say, you shouldn't eat too much ice cream. You shouldn't. Okay? So those are some things that you should remember, okay? Should and shouldn't. And then you have the imperative. An imperative is something your parents would say, right? Imperative is like, don't do that. Sit down. Do your homework, right? That is the imperative, okay? It's something, it's when you're being, when you're being kind of rude and you're being forceful, right? You say, don't hit me. Don't, or do do your work right something like that something that something like that. that's the imperative okay so we have here there's more imperatives okay so we have run okay do your homework now that's a common imperative and brush your teeth sit down okay don't run don't do that don't be late Okay, those are something that you would hear your teacher say often. You would often hear your teacher say. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue here with the conversation. And in the conversation, we have something about eating, right? This is about health, right? So we have Angie and Grace. And Angie says, Grace, wait up. Hey, Angie. Do you want to go to Burger World with me? I can't. My mom told me I should watch my diet. Hmm. And my mom told me I shouldn't drink sodas. Let's go for a walk instead. So... In this conversation, instead of going to Burger World and having high calorie meals and having a soda or like a soda, which means like a Coca Cola, Seven Up, or a Chilsing Cider, whatever, but they don't have it in the USA, um, they're going to go for a walk instead. So, this is something that uh, you could do, right? You go for a walk instead. And then over here, we have Angie and Grace, and we have practice the conversation and replace the underlying words with the words in blue. Do you want to go to Burger World with me? Hmm, I can't. My mom told me I should eat more vegetables, right? My mom told me I should eat more vegetables. And vegetables is not vegetables, it's just vegetables. That's what they say in, in the USA is veget vegetables. In the UK they would say vegetables. But in the USA it's vegetables. And then Grace would say, I can't. My t mom told me I should write some letters. And then Grace would say, I can't. My mom told me I should play the piano more. And then Grace says, I can't. My mom told me I should stay at home more. 
And then Grace says again, I can't. My mom told me I should study English more. And once again, should mean, should is kind of a polite way, okay? Right? Instead of saying, study English more. You should, no, no, you say, study English more, okay? Do your homework. My mother says, mother says instead, I should, okay? It's a little bit more polite, not nicer, okay? And now we have here, practice a conversation and replace the underlined words with the words in blue. Yeah, my mom told me I shouldn't drink sodas. Okay, so we have also other things here. And my mom told me I shouldn't drink milkshakes and then we have and my mom told me I shouldn't eat french fries and my mom told me I shouldn't eat junk food and then we have and my mom told me I shouldn't spend my money and my mo mom told me I shouldn't go to fast food restaurants and my mom told me I shouldn't eat hamburgers But then Grace says, okay, let's go for a walk instead. Okay, so we have drink milkshakes, eat french fries, eat junk food, spend my money, go to fast food restaurants, and eat hamburgers. So... That's something you have to k take into account here. You see, there's many different things that you shouldn't do, right? So, what I want you to do is I want you to listen, read and repeat three times at home, and you'll be on your way to having better pronunciation. I'll see you in class tomorrow. Goodbye.